Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to make a Wikipedia page in SharePoint. In this video, we'll give a brief overview of the Wikipedia pages. Then we'll show you how to make a wiki page, how to add the pages to the navigation menu. And finally, we'll give some bonus tips on how to manage the pages. There are different ways to build and organize Wikipedia pages in SharePoint. But in this video, we've made a list of wiki pages about various Microsoft 365 applications, and then added them to the left menu. When we click them, they lead to wiki pages that look like the kind of content you find in Wikipedia. The benefit of this layout is that it makes it easier to navigate from page to page. To make a Wikipedia page in SharePoint, start by heading to Pages in the left menu. There, head up and click New, and then select Wiki page from the drop-down. Next, enter a name for the new page. Then head across and hit the Create button. Once you've made the new page, head to any Wikipedia page. Click and drag to highlight the page content. Then press Ctrl and C to copy the text, or Command and C if you're on a Mac. Now head back to SharePoint, and paste the text into the editor. You'll notice that the source code is also copied, which creates a template for you to work with. Simply delete any parts of the page you don't want, while retaining headers. You can then edit the headers. And also insert whatever text you need. If you're making an onboarding page, you might want to create sections for role-specific training, company policies, and goal setting. But right now, we're giving a brief overview of how to edit the content within the template. If you know how to use HTML code, head up to the top menu and click Edit Source. When you've finished editing the template, head up and click Save in the top right. Next, head to the top left and click Publish, and then hit Publish again. To add the pages to the left menu, start by clicking the three dots next to the page you just made. Then select Copy Link from the pop-up menu. Hit Copy, and then close the dialog box. Now head to the left menu and select Edit at the bottom. Then head up and hover over the position where you want the page to be added. You should see a small plus icon in the middle. Click the plus icon, and then paste the link you just copied into the address box. Enter the name of your page as the display name, and then hit OK. Finally, scroll down the left menu and hit Save. As you can see, we now have a new Wikipedia page in our navigation menu. Now for some tips on managing the Wikipedia pages. First, let's add a new column so we can order the pages by department. To do that, head to Pages. Then go across and click Add Column. There are various ways to differentiate pages, but we'll select Choice as the column type. Now click Next at the bottom. Enter a name for the column, such as Department. Then head down and start adding departments. We'll add IT, HR, Finance, and Sales. You can also set a default department for all pages. When you're done, hit Save. To add departments to the pages, start by clicking the three dots next to a page. Then go to More in the pop-up menu, and select Properties. In Properties, head across to the column you made, 
and click the line below. You can now select a department from the choices you made. When you're done, close the properties dialog box. We can now click the column header and order the pages by department. Now we're going to set an alert that sends us an email notification whenever someone edits the page. To do that, start by opening the page. There, head to page at the top. Then go across and click alert me, and select set an alert on this page from the drop down. You can choose to receive an email or text notification. Under send me an alert when, select someone else changes a wiki page. When you're finished, head down and click OK. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.